Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. So yesterday we talked about the number one rule for attracting and keeping a man. And so today I want to tell you about the biggest obstacle, the number one obstacle that you're going to face when it comes to finding the love life that you've always wanted to have. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of things right now that are uh, against you in our society. So, um, you know, one of the big things that's going on right now is we have this hookup culture thing that's going on where um, everybody's just like hooking up with each other and, you know, you just swipe right and you hook up. And um, I, I don't, I think that's a trend and I think it's going to go away. But um, it's really, really difficult for a lot of people because of how easy it is for somebody to just get a hookup whenever they want to. And I think a lot of women are really devaluing themselves as human beings by making it just this free-for-all sexcapade thing that they've got going on. You know, obviously you're welcome to do whatever it is that you want to do, um, but I don't think that just hooking up with a guy, uh, you know, and, and just having this giant free-for-all hookup thing is is good for uh, women in our society long-term. And I'll talk more about that tomorrow. But here's the thing. So the hookup culture is not your biggest obstacle uh, between you and finding and attracting the right guy and keeping them in a great um, committed relationship. Um, that's not your biggest obstacle at all. And it's not even commitment phobic men and it's not all the horrible dating advice and dating advice scams that are out there, which there's a lot. There are a lot of scams out there of uh, people just giving horrible, horrible dating advice. Um, that's not the problem at all. The biggest obstacle that you're, you're going to face is actually how you approach relationships. Now, let me explain. After working with just thousands and thousands of women, I've determined that there are really two types of of women out there. The first type of woman is someone who I call the settler. And, um, you know, women that are settlers are women that uh, believe that a relationship is either just perfect or it's just not meant to be. And that they feel like um, finding the right guy actually happens through chance or luck. Um, I call this woman the settler because these types of women typically end up settling for a man and a relationship that they don't actually want because um, they have this kind of thing of pretending when they're around their friends and their family um, because they're so scared of having some type of conflict in the relationship that they avoid conflict at all costs and they end up getting themselves into a really bad situation. Many times it ends up blowing up in their faces. Um, and so, uh, so there's a second type of woman. And this woman is someone that I call the creator. And uh, these creator women believe that it takes skill and effort in order to uh, find the right guy and make things work with him. And um, they believe that this skill can be developed over time. And so here's the thing. Um, if you're the first type of woman, the settler, the woman that uh, believes that it's either just perfect or it's not meant to be, um, I have some really bad news for you. Uh, in fact, here's what you should probably do. If, you re if you're really one of those women, you should probably just go and unsubscribe from this email list right now. Just leave our community uh, because there's not really much that I can do to help you. And on the other hand, if you're a uh, creator type of woman, if you're the second type of woman, if you're the type of woman that thinks that or believes that um, it takes skill and effort and work in order to attract and keep the relationship that you want, then you're exactly in the right spot. So for most men, and, and I'm going to talk more about this later, but for most men, staying in a committed relationship isn't just about choosing a woman and then going along for with it. It's about uh, continuing to experience certain emotions that make him feel like he's in the right relationship, that he's with the right woman, 
and uh, you know, uh, going deeper into that relationship in a way that allows him to open up and connect with you in a deeper and uh, more fulfilling and satisfying way. Now, there are some women out there who just naturally get this stuff, and maybe you've seen them, maybe you know some of them, um, and it's like they just intuitively know how to connect with a man in the right way that makes him want to pursue her and lead her into a committed relationship. And, and um, you know, I really, I really believe this is how things should go. But as you know, um, not all women just understand or just know how to connect with a man in this way. Um, it, you know, it only works if you, uh, trigger the right emotions in a man and he continues to experience those emotions in a relationship. And the reason that most women don't really know this is because, um, you know, there's so much conflicting information out there. So schools, parents, uh, the media, you know, they all send us these different signals and these difference in, you know, so, some people, um, you know, are fortunate. They, they uh, grow up in a family where, you know, they have functioning parents, where they, they have uh, functioning relationships, where they're um, kind of taught almost through like osmosis how to uh, connect with members of the opposite sex. But um, there's so much confusion out there right now that it's like, um, you know, it's not very surprising if you don't know what's going on or, or you're having troubles connecting with a guy or you're having problems keeping a guy interested in you. It's, it's, it's perfectly natural and normal in the way that our society works right now because of how things are shifting and how things are changing. So for a lot of women, instead of creating a happy, loving, lasting relationship, they end up feeling really frustrated, alone, and you know, angry at themselves, angry at men. Um, and uh, you know, the reality. But here's the reality: the reality is that any woman can really learn the skills to connect with a man in the right way. And, uh, you know, quickly improve her dating life and create a relationship with one special man that makes him want to be with her forever. And, um, you know, how do I know this? Because I've, uh, I've literally helped thousands of women do exactly this. I've helped women transform their love lives and go from thinking that men in relationships are kind of this painful, like, uh, uh, adversarial type relationship to making it so that they experience more love, more uh, companionship, commitment, and joy than they've ever felt in a relationship before in their lives. But in order for you to really um, transform your love life like that, you need to learn uh, you know, how and why men are attracted to, to women. What, what, what are they looking for? What makes them want you? What makes them want to pursue you? What makes them want to commit to you? Um, and, you know, we're going to talk about that in the continuing videos that I'm going to be sending you here on this channel. So uh, thanks again for watching today. Um, make sure, again, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I think it's on the bottom right-hand side of this video. Um, to uh, get more videos. Um, I make videos all the time. So, um, you know, check out those videos and uh, thanks for watching and I'll speak with you again soon.